Hurricanes don't just bring us heavy rains and wild winds. They also spawn tornadoes. Folks in Palm Bay Estates know that too well. A twister tore through there during Irma. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman talked to them minutes later and just went back to see how families are forever changed. Even after more than eight months, the community here still bears the scars from Hurricane Irma. Some are still rebuilding after the tornadoes ripped through here, while there are others who are left with nothing at all. The damage was unbelievable. Mary King and says she vividly sure remembers that morning and seeing us on scene minutes after disaster struck the Palm Bay Estates. Very heavy damage. We're told six mobile homes were destroyed. And just take a look at all of the debris. The eye of Hurricane Irma was still hundreds of miles away, but outer rain bands spawned a water spout over the Indian River Lagoon that swept on shore. This, this telephone pole okay. fell on the house. The pole in the back fell on the back of the house. She was one of the lucky ones. This roof belonged to William Loveland and his wife. This right here was my garage. For 16 years, the couple lived in what they called their little piece of paradise. But it was paradise lost when the EF0 tornado touched down, destroying his home and five others. That's my heart right there in that lot. And uh, all of our memories. But while only memories remain, William says he's thankful nearly everyone along his street evacuated ahead of the storm, meaning no one was injured. And it also takes this one little tornado to completely wipe out a family. Since September, some have left the community, but others, including William, decided to stay. He says it's the generosity of neighbors that helped until finding his new home just a few doors away. You know, when you got people like that, and you got a community like that, you want to stay. And as many are now making hurricane preps this year, William hopes his story will serve as a life-saving reminder. If anybody wants to stay in the mobile home, uh, just stay out to get out. I really do. I, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, your life is not worth it. And if there's one lesson everyone in this community can agree on, it's to take that order to evacuate very seriously. They say all of this damage definitely demonstrates that. As hurricane season now begins, neighbors here say they'll be taking the lessons learned from last year and also turn to each other if another storm hits. In Brevard County, Mark Lehman, News 6.